Hi, my name is Dan. In this video, we're going to be using Illustrator to build UI and web graphics. Okay, uh, there's lots of free stuff here on my channel. Please subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications. If you want more, loads more. Okay, check out bringyourownlaptop.com or check out the link in the description. In this video, we're going to talk about what products do what, because uh, don't we have loads of them? Okay, and there's some other competitors as well about kind of web and UI design. So let's talk about the kind of main Adobe products. Okay, so we'll talk about InDesign versus Photoshop versus Illustrator, which one you should be using. Okay, and the one you should be using is either Photoshop or Illustrator. Okay, Photoshop has a little advantage over Illustrator. Mainly for me, it's something called device preview. So if you have Photoshop skills, okay, I've got a full Photoshop course. Um, it's exactly like this Illustrator one doing UI web design. So go check that out. Okay, but and we're here to learn Illustrator. So Photoshop has the kind of slight advantage for especially web design, okay, uh, over Illustrator, but not enough to say don't use either of them. They're both pretty awesome, okay. Um, Illustrator, we're going to look at this full course, okay, and it's perfect for web and UI, but it also gives you skills in terms of uh, designing logos and symbols. So a lot of people will learn Illustrator because it has dual purpose, okay? You get to use it for, yeah, a bunch of different stuff um, as well as print, as well as web, okay? And say, let's talk about InDesign. InDesign would be a no-go for me. You can do web design in it. There's a file, a new document, and you can pick some web features, but it's missing so much of the goodies that help you develop kind of UI for web and apps that I'd use it if you were somebody who only had InDesign skills, the problem with it is that you couldn't get a job as a web designer using InDesign, okay? So yeah, InDesign's missing too much of the features. It's for documents only, kind of like, it's more like a big version of Word, okay? The, um, the, the next kind of like group of them is uh, something called XD, okay? Experienced Designer from Adobe. It's new, it's still in preview, it's really cool but it's still in preview and is missing a lot of features. I've used it a couple of times and it's really good, but it's not like a full production product yet. So I'm still using things like Illustrator and Photoshop. Whereas XD eventually, I feel like it will be the product to be using um, for web design, maybe, okay. Um, so that that's definitely one that's, XD is definitely focused more on app development than web, okay. So I think that's that'll be its home, okay. It'll be for app developers or app designers, okay. and. Uh, things like Illustrator and Photoshop will stay for the web design community. So, and the last product to talk about is something called Sketch, okay? It's outside of the realm of Adobe. It's another competing product. And the product it's competing most with is Experience Design or Adobe XD, okay? Because it's more for app design. So if I was now going to be a fully fledged, only going to be doing apps, okay? I'd be making sure that my uh, Sketch skills were pretty good as well, okay? You can do everything in Illustrator, totally fine. Your app developer's not going to hate it, but Sketch is quite in at the moment, okay? In terms of looking for jobs, okay? So Sketch is quite a cool product to use, but it's specifically for app. You can use it for web, there's no problem with that, but I feel like Photoshop and Illustrator are better at doing that sort of web stuff. They're a lot more mature products and they have lots of other scope for doing other things. Sketch is just really specifically for um, app and web design, whereas those other two products have a lot more scope in terms of other things you can do with those skills. How good was that, right? If you want more, go check out bringyourownlaptop.com or check out the link in the description.